Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Learning Spanish with Senora Ramirez. On my channel, I teach Spanish and I also offer tips on how to be successful teaching Spanish on the OutSchool platform. Um, for this video, we are going to do just that. So let's jump right in. The first thing that I wanted to talk to you about was entering the classroom on the OutSchool platform. Just know that when you enter, even if you enter a few minutes before your class is starting, as soon as you press that button to enter classroom, you will be recorded. So make sure you have your game face on. Shouldn't be fidgeting, fidgeting, shouldn't be scratching your head or yelling at your husband on the other side of the house um, because parents will have access to this video and um, sometimes they wanna watch it so their child can review what they learned or sometimes the parents wanna see what your teaching style is and so they watch the video later. So just know that as soon as you enter the classroom, if your video is on, they will see everything you're doing. The second thing that I wanted to talk to you about today was the demo video. Now the demo video should be five minutes long and when you do this video, you should do it like you are actually teaching your class. You say, hello kids, hi Johnny, hi Mary. I'm Senor Ramirez. I'm going to be teaching you today um, a story time in Spanish about dinosaurs. And then you interact with the students. You ask them questions. You act like they're answering correctly. And then you say, good job and way to go. And then you are showing out school your teaching style. You're showing them what your personality is like and how you will come across, how you interact with the students. And this is what they want to see. So when you do your video, you don't need to use a minute of it explaining who you are and what your degrees are and what you've done in your lifetime. Jump right into your lesson, give a short five minute lesson, give them an idea how you will teach on this platform and then you should do fine. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about is advertising for your out school classes. We know that out school takes 30% of our our pay and we get to keep 70%. Well, that 30% they use to pay for Zoom and to advertise. However, they cannot advertise for every one of us. There are just too many teachers on the platform. So you need to take it upon yourself. And I have a list of several ways that you can advertise your classes that have provided to be very uh, beneficial to me. The first one is joining Facebook OutSchool groups. You can supply your link to your class. Um, of course, you should follow the rules of each group. Um, sometimes they won't let you post your links until Saturday of that week, or maybe um, they only do it every once in a while. They let you know. You just have to follow the rules. You have to agree to follow them before they accept you in the group, and then um, just you'll be fine as long as you follow that group's rules. Now there are some Facebook groups that you're allowed to post whenever you want, what your newest class that's been approved or um, the next one coming up. So that is a very good way to go. My favorite, the second one I'm gonna to talk to you about is Instagram. Now Instagram um, is a great community for online teachers and you want to start an Instagram account if you haven't yet. But if you already have one for personal reasons, I suggest you start a second one for your online teaching business. And the reason I say this is because Instagram will prompt you to follow certain teachers, I mean, um, online teachers, and then it'll prompt them to follow you back. And then you start this community of teachers. And a lot of these teachers on Instagram have students, them, children themselves, that they will put in your um, out school classes. And it's just a great way to connect with other teachers. And there's so many ways on Instagram to do it. You can post a normal post, you can do a story, you can do a reel, or you can do Instagram TV. So I suggest that if you haven't done it yet, definitely start an Instagram account for your online business um, and advertise your classes that way. The third way of advertising and um, I don't use this one myself, but I have heard of other teachers that have done it, and it is a way to funnel students to your classroom, and it's through TikTok. And TikTok is social media, and many people go on to TikTok, and not just teenagers. So 
you can advertise your classes. You can make a TikTok about your class and then um, other people will see it. It is a way for you to reach out and get more attention to your classes. A fourth way that you can advertise is through Pinterest. And I suggest that y'all check out Sincerely Serena's YouTube videos on how to advertise for OutSchool using Pinterest. She has done a good job explaining it and um, you, I believe that you will find it helpful. And then of course, the fifth way is word of mouth. You tell your friends, your friends have friends, they tell their families. All of these people have kids that they may be interested in learning um, whatever you have to teach. So word of mouth is also a good way to advertise your out school classes. The last tip that I have for today um, is information about parent feedback. Now, parents have the right to do feedback on any class that they have enrolled their child in. They have up to 30 days from when that class ends to post a feedback or to amend a feedback that they've already written. After those 30 days have passed, they won't have access to it anymore. For flex classes, they get access once the last class of the flex class has um, taken place. And then for online classes, um, they are allowed to do a, um, a review one week after they've taken the class, but they won't be prompted to do a review until the third week, until after they have completed the third week of taking the class, then they will receive an email prompting them to um, make a review of your class. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope that you have found some value in this video. I hope you've liked it. Please press the like button. And if you are interested, um, click on my subscribe button so that you can get my next videos when they come out. Hasta la próxima. See you in the next video.